Let me start. Yeah. So we have Raghul Prasad and Sivasheshan from Tayaraja College, Madurai, presenting their business plans proposal to our ASBM Shark Tank 2022 International B Plan Contest. Let's proceed. Make it within eight minutes, uh, Rahul Prasad and the Siva Session. Good afternoon to the members of the panel, the organizers of this competition, and to our fellow competitors. We have come here with an idea with which we aim to simplify one stop point for So, investment scheme or size is an innovative solution to, to the majority of the population in an affordable cost. The rising cost of electricity is an impediment in the life of an average person, the cost of which would be cut down significantly through our services. Here is a proposal. With our proposal, we aim to cover these bases. About us. We, Rahul and Siva Station, are two aspiring entrepreneurs from the city of Madurai. Through our innovative ideas, we aim to bring changes which sculpt and structure our country and lead it to a green, self sustaining future. One of such ideas is the Strategic Solar Energy Investment Scheme and Services, or the SAIS. Through this, we aim to bring an integrated statement. Provision of electricity to all people leading of the country and its people towards a greener and cleaner future, making them independent in the field of energy production. Creation of self-sustaining households and offices through our innovative services. Now, my friend will take over. So, let's get down to the business. First of all, what is size? Size of our energy solution to the world's push and need. It is a decentralized solar energy system, which indicates all its users, making them both producers as well as the consumers. With the standalone technology, acting as a replacement to the existing traditional electric networks. We aim to attain such integration through our smart regulators and PCUs. Some of you might think, the current supply energy is great. Why should I buy a solar panel? Uh, even if I wanted to buy a panel, why should I choose you? There are a number of retailers willing to sell to me. Well, here is our answer. We have while 0% credit facility for our products. With this count as an incentive for paid purchases. Flexibility in installing the solar energy system, the consumer can install what he can, what he can afford, which can be expanded further. Promises to cut down the electric cell bill by 50 to 100 percent. The consumer can also earn money by selling a surplus electricity produced from the solar energy system. Achieve this full implementation of these. Well, some of you may also think, why did we choose this at, at the first place? We want to reverse this impact that humans had on the earth. And we thought that energy production is the field that requires such reforms. There are problems we human face both environmentally and economically. Such problems will include massive emission of greenhouse gases into our atmosphere. Most of it is contributed by power plants and automobiles. Rapid depletion of non renewable resources making our future uncertain. Such depletion has resulted in an exponential rise of electricity prices over the century. The, con the consumer has no autonomy in their electricity production. We need to solve this problem through the establish establishment of renewable solar energy system, which leaves no carbon footprint, ensuring zero emission of GHG. Solar energy is the future, which we aim to bring up to the people of all walks of life. Through our seas, the consumer has autonomy in the production of electricity. For he produces himself the electricity to con compensate his, his power needs. The system has available at an affordable cost. He can also earn from fees, thus tackling the, both the environmental and the economic problem existing now. Every business has its own competition. So does us. They are not a competition per se. They are just organi organizations with conflicting views than that of us. Such competition may include the local leaders, the government electricity boards, big energy companies like Adani Green Energy Limited, and the anti-solar activists. 
actually. The local retailers own majority of the consumers. They contribute the they contribute to the majority of the market supply. Uh, and then comes the uh, next comes the Adani Green Energy Limited. Their view of a green future differ from us. They have established two centralized solar farms. They control and supply the consumers, and the uh, and they will depend on them forever. Next comes the government electric boards. The only provider of cheaper rates of electricity. Currently supplying electricity for all households and offices. Last but not least, here comes the anti-social, anti-solar activists. They stand against solar energy. It's a huge interest, believing that the future will be fossil fuel power. But the solar future is in inevitable and will wholly rely on electricity and not petrol. This slide, uh, sorry, out of the above mentioned competition, the Adani Green Energy shares some similarities with us. They have already established huge solar farms, which require a lot of investment to establish and to maintain it. Transmission of solar power from the farm to the cities also consume a lot of resources. Even though energy obtained from solar farm is free, the consumer still has to pay a considerable amount for it, making, it, making him depend on the energy company for his power needs. In other words, their farms are centralized. We have a different decentralized approach. We establish solar energy system in the consumer's place of interest and install power control units to ensure continuous flow of electricity and integrate the various solar energy systems into one. Here, the consumers become independent. He has the resource to power his, his, or his uh, own house or office. This is the key difference between us and them. Mm, this slide shows the, uh, the power uh, requirements and the power production in our country. Out of, uh, the, uh, out of the total uh, energy production, 62% is contributed by these uh, non-renewable resources, out of which 50% uh, is contributed by coal, the others being uh, lignite and natural gases and, uh, and uh, petrol. The remaining 38% uh, is a power. Yes, another person can support. Both of you are on mute. Sebastian, Rahul, you are not audible. You are not audible. You are done? Hello? Sir? Are you done with it? Sir, can you are... hear us, sir? Yes, yes, proceed, proceed. Yes, proceed. Yes, sir. Um, out of the total energy consumption, uh, 20 26% is contributed by households and the remaining 74% by industries. Uh, in the uh, right side, you can see the average uh, spend per consumer on electric bills. The, it costs around uh, 7,500 rupees or 800 units, most of which is contributed by refrigerators, televisions, air conditioners, and washing machines. Uh, the commercial pace is one of our main targets. Uh, if they adapt the technology, uh, their profit margin will increase. Agriculture sector contributes up to 18% of the total electric consumption. Can you make it quick, pa? Yeah. Another two, make, make it one and a half minutes, yes, two sir. minutes yes, maximum sir. given to you. Yeah. There will be uh, some logical uh, challenges when implementing sales in agricultural areas so, due to their, uh, due to, uh, since we have to cover large acres of land, but we will overcome such problems. Households are our uh, primary target, co contributing to 26% of the total electric consumption. Implementing solar energy in every home is a uh, mark we will achieve. Uh, providing electricity to industries is a, uh, a very difficult task, which we will achieve through with the fourth stage of our phase. Uh, these are services which we plan to offer. The first being retailing. The sector is concerned with the retailing of solar panels, inverters and batteries, and the service associated with it. Next, the production sector. We will engage in the research and development of our own products, like smart regulators and PCUs. Then we expand our service 
by selling products which complements our solar energy system. Such products like include electric vehicles, electric stoves, and electronic appliances. At last, through vertical integration, we will have power and resource to collect, process, and export electricity. We have projected our profitability at various stages, in which there are five stages. Um, the last stage being heavy expenses on advertisement increase the consumer base. And when uh, we expand further, the loss decreases and uh, our credit based retailing uh, compensated with our employees, uh, expanded uh, employees. On the break even point, uh, the repayment of credit, credit investment, which we uh, started at the initial stage, will take point and uh, start, uh, we will make us uh, make a revenue. And on the fourth stage, we make profits through PCUs. PCUs are uh, power control units, which uh, connects uh, wires uh, of each solar panels and produce electricity to, uh, through overall uh, uh, 100 houses in, in, a, in a sector. Well, uh, when we expand to the fourth stage, we export energy uh, through our PCUs. Uh, we're collecting, we're integrating the PCUs and exporting the energy from them. These are the investment schemes uh, available for our consumers. Those who can't afford to install a full energy system can afford a 0% credit basis. Those who can afford to install solar energy systems uh, will be given discount as a reward for instant payments. Uh, those who are interested in the solar energy but don't have a space to install the solar energy system can avail a subscription service. These are the benefits to our consumer. Um, All right, but thank you so much. Uh, let us get experts' views on your reply. Any questions you could answer? Yeah, thank you so much. A good presentation. And uh, which department are you from? We are yeah. from Business Administration. MBA department. PBA. BBA department from Tiaraja College. Very good. So let's get from our experts' uh, uh, members. So can you please uh, give some? Thoughts on this plan presentations, please. So yeah, it's a nice presentation. Uh, and uh, uh, your name, whom I'm speaking, Shiva, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, Shiva I and Raghul. So, yeah, Shiva and Raghul. Shiva and Rahul. So Shiva, um, I have one question. Can uh, uh, me how, how? You're not audible to me, sir. Uh, okay. Can you repeat, please, uh, Mr. Shubham? I think it's not audible. Can you repeat your question, sir, Mr. Shubham? Is it audible now? Yeah, yeah, yes, please proceed. Okay. So, Shiva, that um, scaling of solar business uh, from one city to other city is a big challenge. So, uh, yeah. do you have any idea towards, towards it's it? It's not uh, connecting one city to the another city, sir. It's like... Uh, yeah. We established a decentralized uh, power control units, which will control, mm -hmm. which will supply power to the city itself. There is no need to connect uh, various cities. It will act as its own units. No, that 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 we understand that uh, via grid it will be automatically adjusted. My question is, you are uh, you are selling the solar energy products uh, as well as the system to the consumer. So let's say you are located in Chennai or Hyderabad. So from there to moving to other city, in towards, I mean the business, how we can scale? Do you have any idea about it? Well, uh, focusing on uh, each city, so we just start, uh, start with a major... Uh... Actually, sir, uh, first we will start with uh, who's uh, very interested with solar, um, solar energy. First, we will start with them. Then there are builders and promoters. We will try to sell a product to the people with a new, who are trying to build a new house. So uh, from first, we can implement the energy. Okay. So, All right. Thank you. Thank you. Other Dr. friends, Mah go ahead with the question. Dr. Mahen, any questions? Um, any class? A very good presentation. Uh, 
is a, a futuristic uh, uh, business business model. Uh, we have to look at uh, the financials and all that to see how feasible it is. In uh, in India, uh, I'm not sure whether um, you can sell it to the national grid if you if if you got the overproduction, or else you have to have a large battery to store and uh, use it. If if it is connected to the national grid and all that, then I think uh, it's a, it's a very uh, viable uh, business. So when uh, we focus on uh, each household, uh, the power panel installed at the first stage uh, will include a uh, amount of uh, one lakh ninety eight thousand. Right. Uh, then, when then we expand to an, uh, we also give them in a credit basis to to them which uh, which who can't afford it. Okay, then then you need to have large batteries to store your energy that's generated. Yes, sir. Right? That's why power control units come into place. Right, right. We haven't fully explained the project, so due to okay. some time constraints. Right. Good piece. Carry on, Doctor Sokhail. Uh, this is very very uh, ambitious business plan. Now again, uh, they have competitors. And uh, on the other hand, the neighboring country, China, are very cheap in this technology. So, we don't uh, act as manufacturers, sir. We are just retailers. But right. doing right. so in a uh, more glorious way. All right. And you have put, uh, I noticed some statistics, uh, the figures in your presentation. It would be great uh, if you put the sources, uh, how you got the statistics or information. No, that's all from me. Thank you. So always that is very important for you to put a source. Otherwise, it becomes obvious you are getting some figures from your own mind and putting it without source. People will not take it as an as a like, you know, the, the figure is authorized, authenticated. You have to authenticate your resources always. Understand? Sure, sir. Otherwise, it's a good presentation. Thank you very much for coming forward to present in our ASBM short tank B plan contest. Thank you, guys.